Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Deli, and out of high demand, we are going to be doing some DayZ.61 loot runs. Today, we are going to be focusing on the Kami Mista Storoi run, which is probably one of the most popular loot runs that experienced players have been taking for quite some time. Now, to prove that we're going to be doing this on a full server, I'm going to be sharing with you guys exactly the server that I'm going to be playing on, the, the Doodoo -Doo Hardcore server. Um, and uh, I believe this is run by a guy called Doo Doo Rebel, but I, I have no idea. This is actually the first time I have ran on this server. But I wanted to choose a high pop server because it would be more realistic for those who actually play on servers with survivors, like actually playing the game instead of just server hopping at military bases. Uh, this is also a private hive server, not a public hive, so you are unable to server hop. So this is basically going to give you the most realistic expectations from what you can expect on a loot run. So let's get started. So obviously for this spawn to become the most efficient, you need to spawn around Kami. So I wouldn't take this loot run if you spawned an Electro, unless you are not looting for efficiency and time, you just wanna take this loot run. So basically the first place you wanna to go to is Kami. How you get there is up to you if you keep killing yourself to spawn here, um, or if you spawn on Skalensky Island, which is directly across from my location right here, that island that you can spawn on, for those that don't know the name, you need to loot that. It is probably the most OP location to loot in this game right now. You will almost always come out with a gun. I guarantee it. Check it out. Lots of weapons there, lots of ammo, and then swim across to Kami. So if you get a Skalensky Island spawn, take that first. Trust me. After you spawn in or after you actually get a character going, the second thing that you should probably do is get a stone knife. And after a stone knife, you should immediately create a long wooden branch, which is arguably one of the best melee weapons in the game against other survivors if you poke them in the face. Now, in this video, I'm going to be trying to loot every single building possible uh, without being super time effective. On my live stream, you guys are going to be seeing me skip a lot of buildings all the time. And the main reason why I do that is I only have five hours to really get some DayZ action going. And believe it or not, a five hour play session in DayZ doesn't give you a whole lot of time to interact with other survivors. So my goal is to always go forwards, never backwards, while making my way to military camps. And this run, I'm going to be looting every single building. And I highly recommend that you guys do that as well to maximize the loot efficiency uh, during this run. If you have the time to spare, then you should be thorough. And to give you guys an expectation, it takes about 45 minutes for me to complete uh, a loot run going from Kami, Mista, Steroy, looting pretty much every single building. So you can cut that in half if you only loot the houses that are along your path. Also something that I'm doing here is you can see I'm using the frying pan to actually store items while I'm running around. We don't have a backpack, but the item, the frying pan, has four slots. So if you put that in your hand, fill it up with supplies, and you can also use it as a melee weapon while we're running around the village here, killing zombies while also holding a pistol in our pants. It's just being a little bit more efficient if I was using my long wooden branch to kill the zombies. I would have to keep the frying pan in my pants and I wouldn't be able to actually carry the pistol. I've now looted pretty much all of Kami at this point. Uh, I missed a few buildings on the eastern side of the village, but it's a coastal town on a full server. So I'm not going to lose sleep over just missing one or two houses. Um, but we have a trumpet with a hunting scope. A wolf mask, you know, bandit or friendly, doesn't matter. You don't really need to wear it, but cosmetic options that are suitable. We got a chest holster, a Makarov single chambered with seven rounds available. Uh, we got some duct tape to create improvised suppressors or to tie up players if we need to. Uh, an improvised knife, which was the starting item. We have a frying pan, which has a lot of uses. Primarily the uses here for the frying pan will be to cook meat if we find a butane gas stove. Or to hold items and save ammo types from being destroyed in combat, which is what we're going to do right here. We're going to make sure that our ammo is inside of our frying pan. Um, it could also be used as a melee weapon, but I'm going to opt to use the long wooden stick. Uh, we were also able to get a kiwi and a sewing kit, so not too bad actually for spending a few minutes in Kami. Uh, normally, like I said before, I would normally just run right through this entire village, 
um, maybe looting one or two houses, but this is a good start. So the next location that we want to go to is Mista. Now, if you wanted to, you can actually go and hit that castle because castles have a good uh, opportunity of spawning weapons and ammo. But remember, I, I am a time guy. I like to be efficient. So I don't like to backtrack. I'm just going to keep on moving forward. Now down this hill, there will be a hunting shack. Um, I never find anything at the hunting shack though. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, if we find something today, it's going to be incredibly lucky. But I hit it every time because just because I usually don't find anything doesn't mean it's not worth looting. It just means I'm being unlucky. Um, so there's some rope. I mean, I'll hold on to it for now if I wanted to make like an improvised bow or something or a fishing rod or um, tying up players or creating a backpack or if you're playing with a squad that's just all getting started. Taking a couple ropes would be a good idea because usually people want to create the improvised backpacks as soon as possible. Now, if you are lucky enough to find charcoal tablets like I do, then make sure that you kill like every chicken that you see. If you are going to be not using any exploits like the apple pitching, picking glitch, then finding food on 0.61 is actually going to be a little bit more challenging than previous patches. Um, it's still not difficult, like if you're lucky and the server just restarted, then you have a good chance of finding like a lot of food and stuff. But um, if the server's been up for a long period of time, then I highly suggest, um, you know, killing chickens. If you only, if you have charcoal tabs, I mean, if you want to cook the meat, you can like on a fire or on the butane stove, just take the animal meat if you have space. Now here, I'm going to opt to take the shotgun over the trumpet. And I am going to keep the spear instead of the axe. Now lately, I haven't been finding much loot at all in Mista. However, it is still good to try to see if you can find some equipment because you never know what you're going to actually find. It's basically up to luck and RNG. Like you can find Mosins and ammo and blazes and hunting scopes and all sorts of different things from residential buildings. So that's why it's kind of fun to make sure that you check everything because like the next building might have a box of ammo for your weapon and that can make the difference between living or dying in the next 30 to minutes to an hour. Especially on this particular loot path, there will be a military camp along the way, which what it's why it makes this path so good. So the sooner that you can get a weapon with ammunition on this loot run, uh, the better. So if you are struggling to find anything at all, just remember, are you being thorough enough? Like, or, you know, sometimes you just might be unlucky. Like somebody might have just looted all of the buildings ahead of you and you might not be able to find anything at all. But I, I, highly, I highly recommend that if you're not finding any loot at all, just continue the loot run and hopefully you'll find something of value by the end. At this point, again i've looted most of the buildings i have missed one or two of them but for the most part everything has been looted and it looks like somebody has recently been through mista because the amount of loot that i typically get from mista is far greater than what we accomplished here we really only got a new can of spray paint um we got a new raincoat which is good which is going to help prevent hypothermia we got some new food that we're going to be consuming like as soon as possible and we last have a hunting stand that is up here on top of the hill, which has a range finder in it. So we will take that and move on to Staroy. A good condition PU scope and two rounds for our shotgun. A good condition PU scope and ammunition is always a sign that people haven't been in the area for a while. Now, the new military base in Staroy has changed things drastically and made the village one of the best in the game, if not the best starting village to date. Staroy is very close to the coast. In fact, it's the second village up from Electro if you take the right northern highway. Um, but if you go to Pusta Mogolevka, obviously you won't be able to connect to Staroy that easily. But 
Uh, a lot of people from Electro Spawn will be coming up to Steroy, and this is one of the bigger military camps that they added uh, to the game just recently in .61. So make sure that you take advantage of this. You can get a lot of different weapons and, and cosmetic options, but what comes with the loot also comes players and action and banditry. So just be aware that when you come here, take your time and check your corners because somebody might be here waiting for you and then stealing all the hard-earned supplies that you just collected. And it's also important to know to not get too angry if that is the outcome. Just remember that people are not trustworthy in DayZ and that you need to do a better job in keeping your eyes open for potential players. Because even myself, I get killed all the time, especially at this military camp. So just don't get frustrated if it happens and just try to recognize what you could have done differently when encounters like that happen. Now the first place I come to after I first reach Saroy the actual village is what I call the Saroy Suburbs, which is directly behind the police station. This location frequently has 308 blazes, hunting scopes, mosins, mosin ammo, and a lot of different great pieces of equipment. And I have no idea why I consistently find such amazing loot here, but I always seem to find something of value. Uh, maybe it's because it's a little bit off from Steroy, and unexperienced players may not even know that this section of the village even exists. I know if you're coming in from Electro side, this this part of the village would be on your right hand side and it's a little bit covered by the forest and it's defilated by a massive hill. But we just found a box of 308 right there on that hunting jacket. So it's also important to note guys for .61, make sure that you check all of the pieces of equipment on the ground. Everything has the potential of spawning loot including zombies and also zombies with loot you need to kind of hover over the zombie for a little while once you open up the inventory because sometimes it can take a few minutes for the item to populate on the zombie's corpse. It's just currently part of the game and something that will probably be fixed soon. But at this point, we are quickly acquiring a lot of loot. We just also picked up a box of 357. So we have a PU scope, a hunting scope, and a box of 357 so far. And uh, we're also eating all of the food, all the beans, and all the sodas that we collected to try to make sure that we maintain energized and hydrated as often as we can. And it's something that I don't do as much as I probably should. And I know people on the live stream grill me for this. But making sure that you're energized and hydrated as often as possible will help make sure that you don't die whenever you fall unconscious, especially in kill trade situations. You're going to be negating the blood loss from the, your wounds whenever you're knocked out, opposed to not being able to regenerate blood at all. So you have a higher chance of surviving all the time whenever you're energized and hydrated. So just remember that. Don't be a food hoarder like me. Make sure that you're consuming it on a regular basis. Also in Steroy, we'll find a Mosinagant very soon. Um, if not, we've already found it. I, the, the screen's moving by so quickly that I'm quite unsure. Um, the reason why I'm speeding it up is just so you guys can see everything uninterrupted while I'm gathering my loot. Just, I don't know, for some level of authenticity or to just show you guys how many buildings I actually take a look at. Because I'm sure that there's some people that are like, ah, well, I'll pick and choose certain buildings. I know the Piano House has been a classic of finding certain pieces of equipment and ammunition. I know the police station is always good to hit up. In fact, I double take this police station because I looted it so quickly that I thought I missed the rooms, but I actually didn't. I hit every single room in that PD, and then I was like, oh, oh shit, did I, did I do that right? But um, another part of Steroid that you want to go check out is also the barn complex area, which is off to the west side of the village. It also has a guard shack there too. But um, after we finish up all of those buildings, uh, we actually have a decent amount of loot. Okay, after we evaded all those zombies and looted most of the buildings in Steroid, as well as Steroid military base, here is what we are coming out with. We have a shotgun with two rounds. We have a Magnum with 26 rounds. We have a Mosin with no ammo, but still a Mosin nonetheless. We have some food resources. We have a PU scope, well, for the Mosin. We'll throw that on there right now. We have a hunting scope. We have a morphine. We have some black spray paint, which I will use to spray paint this Mosin as well, as well as painting my motorcycle helmet. Uh, we have still some rope. Um, we have a leather sewing kit. We have 308 and some 38 auto rounds. We ditched the Makarov. Uh, we also chose not to... Oh yeah, we also have a CR-75 magazine, which is really nice. Uh, we also chose not to take an SKS and uh, a few other weapons. So overall, this is the Kami Mista Steroy loot run. 
that a lot of people are using in 0.61 to get a lot of equipment very quickly and I highly recommend that you guys check it out. A link to the map will be included in the description box below and I hope you guys found this useful.